Welcome to part 6 of the series on business process automation. This time we talk about robotic process automation in the context of business process management systems. The question is, how do we combine robotic process automation with ordinary business process automation? In business process automation, when we automate a business process, we build a workflow. And then the workflow has human and machine tasks. Then we can use robots to automate routine human tasks and also to introduce additional machine tasks where the robots can access applications where we don't have an API. One advice here. Don't try to build one robot for the whole business process. When we combine robotic process automation with the business process management system, we obtain a workflow in the business process management system at the top level and then underneath several robots that execute a script. Now it's time for an example. Imagine a simple business process where we have minutes of a meeting with a customer and then we want to create this customer in the customer relationship management system and send out an email with the minutes to a certain number of people. We have built this workflow in YAWL, but you can use any other business process management system. And so, on the top level, the process has four tasks. First, we enter the data. This is a human task. Then we create the customer in the customer relationship management system. This is a complex task and that means that we will have a sub-workflow for this. We'll come to that in a minute. Then we send out the minutes of the meeting by email. This is done automatically. And finally, there's a human task to control if everything has been executed correctly. So let's now look at the sub-process create customer. We have divided this into four tasks. And each of these tasks is a robotic process automation task. So the first one is a question, does the customer exist? So we imagine a robot accessing the customer relationship management system and looking up the customer we just entered in the top level net. If the answer is yes, then we can jump to the end. If not, we ask, does the company exist? If yes, we just create the new customer and otherwise we have to create the company first. In this example, we have three classes of tasks. Human tasks, automated tasks using APIs and robotic process automation tasks using the user interface of other applications. And by the way, there are two kinds of robotic process automation. Attended and unattended. Attended means that the user is essentially starting and watching a macro that is executed. Unattended means that the robot works autonomously. In our example and also in the rest of this series, we will mainly talk about unattended robotic process automation. Why did we distribute create customer to four different robots? The answer is that the tasks for the robots should be as simple as possible. Why? Because user interfaces are optimized for humans, not robots. When we use an API, we have a fixed contract with the other side. We know the input parameters, the output parameters. If there is a new version of the API or even breaking updates, they are communicated and some of the integration tests may need to be repeated when that happens. In robotic process automation, for example, consider a robot that logs into a web-based customer relationship management system. Depending on the history, the browser may ask you, do you want to store your password? Do you accept cookies? 
And while these questions sometimes are annoying for humans, for robots, they certainly mean a failure when they are not prepared for them. And so the user interface is unpredictable. What role should the RPA system play in relation to the business process management system? In the first scenario, the RPA acts as a server. The business process management system invokes the RPA system via an API. In the second scenario, the RPA system acts as a client. The RPA system uses the business process management system via its user interface. How is this done and which one is best? This is a topic for the next two videos. Do you have any ideas or questions? Put them in the comments below. I will answer.